Our next speecher, speaker representing our graduate students is Donalise Padron. Donalise was born in Miami, but just barely. Her parents had recently fled Cuba, and upon arrival in Miami, her pregnant mother was whisked away to the hospital just in time for Donalise's birth. The fact that Donalise was given the middle name of Libertad speaks to the aspirations of her parents to provide their daughter with a life of freedom and opportunity. Donalise earned her bachelor's degree from Mills in May of 2016 with majors in economics and international relations. Danalise is now pursuing an MBA at the Lori, Loka, Lori I. Lokai School of Business and Public Policy. Her dream is to use the finance skills she has acquired to help immigrant and low-income families achieve their dreams. In her words, I would like to be a trusting agent that they can rely on for support, guidance, and hope to achieve the dreams they are currently pursuing, pursuing and even the dreams they have given up. Denis, would you please come forward? Thank you, thank you. First off, welcome President Hillman and welcome class of 2017. <laughs> so do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. This is what we exemplify at Mills, and this has greatly influenced my own journey. I'm currently on my way to completing my MBA, but I would not be in grad school if it weren't for the special culture of Mills and the support I found, as well as my, as well as my parents. <laughs> These have challenged me to reach higher than I had ever thought possible. What is it about Mills culture that is so special? At Mills, we do not follow conventional expectations of what the world thinks we should or should not be. We embrace our authentic identities and encourage others to do the same. When I came here, I realized I could let go of the need to follow society's definition of femininity and define for myself what being a woman is and means to me. At Mills, we are fierce. We strive for excellence. I was pushed to go beyond expectations and became confident in my own potential. I rose to the challenge of becoming class president during my first year, something I had never imagined myself doing. But now, looking forward, I envision myself as a leader. At Mills, we are loving. Our love is a radical one, which we express by redefining the spaces in which we operate to ensure that they are inclusive to all. This taught me I don't always have to follow the rules and encouraged me to challenge the status quo. At Mills, we are agents of change. Our community is small, but the impact we leave in our surroundings is bigger than we can grasp. We are a force to be reckoned with. Mills has kept me outside of my comfort zone. My advisors, my mentors, professors, and my coach have all pushed me beyond unimaginable boundaries. You better believe I would not wake up at six in the morning to lift weights and be soaked in cold water had it not been for Coach Neal's insistence to build endurance. But it was through that experience that I learned the true value of commitment and grew aware of the personal growth that I can achieve when I put increments of hard work in every day. In retrospect, I become aware of how far I've come. Mills taught me about women's empowerment, which led me to successfully negotiate a higher salary at my internship this summer. <laughs> my boss? was a bit taken aback that a freshly graduated 22-year-old was asking for a raise, but she respected me more after I explained why I had done it. Reflect on your own individual journey. In what ways have you grown? 
I encourage you all to keep following your heart and not the planned out path that has been laid ready for you. Pursue even the dreams you never thought possible. Because if we ever had a doubt, now we know we can. It's in our mill's DNA. I like to say my family gave me wings, but mills taught me how to fly. And the causes you are passionate about would be the forceful wind behind your wings. I ask you, what trail will you leave behind? Thank you.